on January 12, 2018, Chinese villagers of the Guangxi southern region captured this incredible footage of a Long March 3B rocket booster falling from the sky and crashing into a mountain. The large explosion and the nitrogen tetroxide oxidizer cloud indicate that the booster had a critical amount of fuel residuals in its tanks. These substances, nitrogen tetroxide and unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine, are toxic materials that can be harmful to humans and their environment upon contact or inhalation. As impressive as this footage is, this sort of accident is not uncommon, and the villagers are notified of potential crash landings several days before a launch. This is because in China, three of its four rocket launch facilities are located hundreds of miles inland as a Cold War era strategy to ward off Soviet and American potential enemy fires. However, this strategy has become dangerous for modern day situations. On January 12, 2018, the Chinese Long March 3B rocket, carrying two navigational satellites, took off from the Zhichang Satellite Launch Center at 7.18 a.m. local time. As it made its way towards its destination across the Chinese mainland, the three-stage rocket dropped its four liquid-fueled boosters. Each of them had burned through 41 metric tons of propellant. After setting the four boosters, the Long March 3B rocket continued its trek before heading out to the Pacific Ocean on a four-hour climb trip to directly deliver its twin satellites into 13,350 miles orbit. Chinese space officials confirmed the successful launch and payload delivery a few hours later. However, back on land, one of the discarded boosters landed near a village in the Guangxi southern region and exploded upon impact. Several locals managed to capture remarkable footage from different angles, showing the booster falling from the sky and striking the ground behind several buildings. In the footage, screams are heard as flames erupt from one end of the booster, which lay on the ground surrounded by debris. Another video shows the villagers approaching the wreckage area, seemingly unaware of the potentially severe health hazards. The booster had already burned through a big part of its fuel by the time it fell off the rocket. However, the Long March 3B rocket's propellant chemicals, such as nitrogen tetroxide and unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine, are severely toxic substances, dangerous when inhaled or touched with bare skin. Thankfully, no casualties were reported due to the impact of the boosters and other hardware associated with the Long March 3B rocket. This type of incident, in which part of a rocket fell in the middle of a rural village, is not uncommon in China. Three of the country's four launch facilities are located hundreds of miles inland, far away from open waters. For the Chinese to send payloads into space, the rockets must fly over land. This risky setup contrasts with the US and several other nations' rocket launch facilities, usually located near a coastline. That way, the rockets fly over the ocean as they ascend into space, and their boosters fall into the water. The reasoning behind China's inland facilities dates back to the Cold War era. Officials decided that an inland facility would be safe from potential Soviet and American fire, especially since some of these facilities were linked to China's nuclear weapons program. Keeping these structures as far away from the coast as possible was necessary to keep them from being easy targets. However, this decision has led to several fatal accidents in the last few decades. In 1996, a Long March 3B rocket took off from the Zichang Satellite Launch Center and after straying off its planned course, landed in a nearby village, destroying dozens of homes, taking the lives of six people, and injuring almost a hundred more. China has been slowly but surely moving towards a safer protocol for rocket launches. The government has been constructing the Long March 5, 6, and 7, which use less toxic agents in their fuel. In 2016, the Wenchang spacecraft launch site on Hainan's island in the South China Sea was inaugurated. This has been the official launch site for the newer Long March 5 and 7, thus allowing these two rockets to launch over the ocean instead of taking the risk of launching over land. However, like many new rocket vehicles, these ships have suffered significant failures. In July 2017, a Long March 5 suffered an anomaly in its core as it was taking off, and onlookers witnessed a plume of gas around the main engines. 
Even with the Wenchang spacecraft launch site's inauguration, it appears that China's ever-growing spaceflight program will still prioritize inland rocket launches, at least for the next decade.